Hello, friends of the internet. Rudix here to talk about a project I've been working on for quite a while now. Many moons ago, I was watching someone play the game Alundra for the PlayStation. And at some point through their stream, I had asked them if they had ever heard of the game Dual Hearts. And it's somewhat of a spiritual successor to uh, Alundra in some ways. Um, Sadly, they had never heard of the game, and it got me thinking about various things. Uh, I started thinking to myself, I wonder what kind of games are out there that I've heard of, um, or haven't heard of, that I should play. Uh, now, I've been a gamer my entire life, and I've had the wonderful opportunity to play through thousands of different uh, games over the years. But I know there's definitely a few out there that I've never even heard of. Um, there's so many different like systems and everything out there that it's just, it's there's too many games and there's definitely some out there that I've never heard of. Uh, so I decided I was going to embark on this great journey to play some of those wonderful gems. Um, but I wasn't really sure how to go about getting started. Uh, so I kind of thought about it, and what I ended up doing um, was, since I'm a fan of RPGs, uh, especially like JRPGs uh, and that sort of thing, I figured I would start with the RPG genre. And I asked on Twitter and Facebook and whatever social media I could uh, for people to tell me the top three games or top three RPGs that they felt everyone should play at some point in their life. And now I was very vague in how I asked this question um, on purpose. I left it open to interpretation uh, as best as I possibly could because I was very curious how um, people would even answer that question, like top three RPGs everyone should play. Um, I didn't ask specifically what is the best three RPGs or what's your favorite, but simply to name three RPGs that everyone should play at some point in their life. Uh, I was actually very pleasantly surprised by the response I got as I received over um, 150 just like individual titles. Uh, tons of suggestions, a lot of the same things, but uh, overall there's probably about 150 different games that kind of came along this list. And uh, originally I was actually only expecting like maybe 10 responses from people. Um, and half the games would probably just be the same game. Uh, but somehow I got a lot of varied responses, uh, which is something I was definitely excited for. Uh, anything from JRPGs to Western RPGs to even some tabletop games. Um, I got a lot of responses, which was good. Uh, sadly, I didn't want this project to go like way over my head and like I didn't want to go far uh, beyond what I was capable of really doing. Uh, so I decided I was going to have to make the horrible choice of, like, cutting some of that list down um, to something more manageable. Uh, so I went through everyone's responses and suggestions, and I tried to come up with uh, as much of a smaller list of games that would, at the very least, keep me motivated uh, to keep pushing forward with this. Uh, in, in hindsight, I may have included a few too many games that I'd already played before, but it did seem somewhat necessary uh, in order to balance out this list uh, with games that I, I knew were going to be fun, uh, along with games that I had n no idea if they were going to be fun, uh, and just to try and keep the whole project as like a, a fun project for me to work on rather than seem like a chore after maybe the first five or six games. Uh, plus there were a lot of suggestions of games I already played that I just hadn't played in a long time, but I also kind of felt like it was maybe time to play them again just because I hadn't played them in such a long time and it'd be nice to revisit them. The list I ended up with took me several days to really kind of like compose and come up with in general. Um, I had to really spend time trying to think of ways to balance out um, in a way that would uh, keep things not only interesting for me, but interesting as like from a viewer standpoint. Uh, as a streamer, you always want to keep things like interesting for everyone as much as you can. 
Um, in any case, I came up with a list of about 75 games that I'll be slowly working on through as I have time, and I'll be posting uh, my feelings on each title both here as well as uh, on YouTube here, as well as on my website, uh, rudix.com. Um, I've already gone through 10 or so games since I started this project um, a bit ago and originally hadn't really thought to record anything um, or really keep track much track of anything that actually went on in RP Galooza, um, especially since it was very difficult for me to record anything at the time uh, with the way my computer was like a year ago or whatever, my old computer. Um, However, now that I possess the ability to do so, I'll be putting a little bit more effort into keeping some amount of uh, record or a journal uh, of my feelings towards each game as I go through this list. Um, both um, For now, I'm only going to include my afterthoughts. Um, originally, in the Google Doc I had come up with this, for this list, it actually includes my, like, before thoughts as well, so I thought maybe in the future I might, if I if it seems like something fun, um, I'll give my going into the game and finishing my thoughts after finishing the game. But for now, we'll just have the thoughts after finishing each title. That's basically it. Uh, there's I I didn't include the first. Like I said, I've gone through about ten games in this list so far. So sadly, they're going to kick up with game eleven, uh, which is Kingdom Hearts. So I'll be putting that, my review of that, my feelings about that one here on YouTube. Since I can't really go back in time uh, with some of these other games, it would be difficult to record anything. I might eventually in the future do something where um, I just kind of give a recap with no video or anything about what I remember. Because uh, I did, there is a Google Doc somewhere on the internet that has a list of all the um, games that I played already as well as like my feelings and thoughts on them. So I may in the future might, but for now I'm just gonna skip those first 10 games uh, for YouTube purposes. Um, I do hope everyone uh, enjoys RP Galooza. Uh, it's something that uh, I've enjoyed so far. Uh, there's definitely been a few games that I haven't played in a while on there that were fun to revisit and quite a number of games on there that I've never played before that were, uh, they were experiences to say the least. And um, I pushed myself through and made it through. Um, and I look forward to hearing everyone else's fear feelings as I go through these different games and as I post updates here on YouTube or uh, even in my Twitch stream if you wanna follow along um, with everything going on. I do stream all these games on my Twitch channel, uh, which is twitch.tv slash rudix, R-U-D-Y-X-X. -X. Um, feel free to follow along on there if you like RPGs. I do stream a lot of RPGs. Uh, and in the meantime, hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day, and I look forward to seeing you all in the future. <laughs>